solo video for you guys. Um, before I get started on today's topic of what is in my diaper bag, be sure to go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like any part of it. And also don't forget, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you are alerted anytime we post a video. We post Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. And now let's get into it. So those of you who are new to this channel, um, so you are filled in. My name is Autumn. My boyfriend's name is Anthony. And we have two twin daughters and also a four-year-old named Aurora. Um... I just had my twin daughters in December, so they are only two months old, and they are growing so fast. It is insane. It makes me so happy, but so sad at the same time, because they're just growing up so fast. It literally feels like the blink of an eye, like I just got out of the hospital, and now they're already cooing at me and smiling, and it just makes my heart melt. Uh, but today I'm going to go over what is in my diaper bag. So... I actually don't. I have an actual diaper bag that I received from my baby shower, and that is actually this bag right here. Um, so it's super big. I actually love this diaper bag. I love the colors and everything like that. The only thing is with twins, my hands are always so full. Anytime I go anywhere, I literally have one car seat here, one car seat here, and normally a coffee. Somehow I manage all of that, my purse, and like any other personal belongings I have. Um, so I actually have transferred all of my stuff into this backpack. Um, I'm not sure where exactly this is from. I actually got this as um, a gift from, I guess it wasn't a gift, but Anthony's mom gave it to me because she never used it. And I, every time I saw her, I was like, I love that backpack. I just like the color. I think it's super cute. And it was really cute on. And it also has AC on it. Um, if it will focus in on there. But one day I will have the last name Croft. So I think it's cute. My girls are AC, so... I love this backpack and the color. Um, so I switched everything into here because it was more convenient for me. Um, especially when I'm out by myself, it is impossible to carry that other bag, um, like a shoulder bag, as opposed to something on my back where my hands are free. Um, and it is a decent size. It's not huge, so I love it. So let's see um, what is inside. So... As I said, if you are new to this channel, I do have twins, so everything is pretty much doubled in here. Um, but somehow it still manages to fit, and it works for me. I use this bag a lot when, um, like me and Anthony, go to the mall or doctor's appointments, things like that. Um, I don't keep extra formula in here if we are having a long day. Normally, I will take this as like you know my backpack with all the major essentials like their bottles and stuff like that and then the formula I will normally um, take in like a little grocery bag and I'll just stick it in my car um, so if we are at the mall I don't have to carry it around but I know I can always go out to the car if I do need to stack up on formula um, so that is not included in this bag but that is something that normally I just take extra on the side if we do plan to have a long day so the first thing I want to get out of my diaper bag is wipes um, this is essential, obviously, because babies are so messy. Obviously, you use this for their booties um, when you're changing diapers. And also, it's super convenient for anything like spit up or like on their face. Um, even when we're at the mall, sometimes me and Anthony will use it on our hands. Things like that. And then, um, obviously, you're going to have to do a ton of diaper changes. And with having twins, I do double the diaper changes. So I do have diapers in here as well. Um, normally I keep four to six, um, so I figure two to three diaper changes per baby. If it is a long day, um, if it's a short day, I still keep around four in there, but if it is a long day, I'll normally do six or eight diapers, um, because like I said, I have two, so I need double of everything. And those are obviously, every mother has those in her diaper bag. So another thing I keep in my diaper bag, which is actually very essential to me, is, um, my, I honestly don't even know what this is called, 
but it came with the other diaper bag that I previously showed you and it's kind of like a mat that is like super easy to wipe down and I always 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 use this when uh, we go out in public I don't like the public um, changing tables I'll use those but I'll put this over it even after I wipe it down just because there's so many babies on there so many germs and I just like taking the extra precaution and uh, using this anytime we go out in public. So in this bag as well, I obviously keep their bottles. Um, these are empty, obviously, because I'm just showing you guys. But I do keep two bottles because I have two babies. Um, one has a white cap, one has a pink cap. And that is because Azara has an allergy, so she gets Nutramagen as her formula. And we coordinate that by she always gets pink. And then Amira um, does the Infameal, so we always put her in the white clear bottle just so we don't mix their formulas um, and keep it separated that way. The next thing I keep in the baby's diaper bag is a little rag. I think this is honestly a um, washcloth, like a baby washcloth. But I always keep one in no matter what diaper bag I have or anywhere just because if the babies do spit up or um, sometimes they get messy when they are drinking their bottle, I use this to wipe them up. That way they don't get it on their clothes. Um, so I just keep one of those in there because I can use on both babies. It's not a big deal. So along with Azara having an allergy to certain formula, um, both of our girls also get super gassy. Um, since they were born, they always seemed kind of colic and got super gassy. So we started giving them gas drops. Um, it's actually the grape water. Um, we put that in about every other bottle. So you can technically give it to them six times a day. We normally do about three. Um, so I just keep that in a little baggie with the syringe anytime we go somewhere just in case they get super fussy and um, are in pain because of gas. So along with having to change diapers um, throughout the day, I also keep an extra pair of clothes in here because babies will be babies. Um, they get messy, they poop everywhere, and having an extra outfit is I think necessity just in case you don't one of these times have an outfit in your diaper bag that's gonna be the time that the babies decide to explode their diaper and you're gonna be SOL um, so I do keep two outfits because I do have two babies um, so I keep an outfit for each girl just as a backup in case an accident happens obviously if you have one child you only need to put one onesie in there just to be safe um, that's just something that I figured would come in handy eventually one day Fingers crossed, we don't have any crazy explosions anytime soon. Um, I also keep two binkies inside of their diaper bag. Uh, to be completely honest, neither one of our girls are attached to binkies. I don't know if it's just because they're still really young, um, but they really don't use binkies that much. I just take them everywhere just in case. Um, like I said, they don't really use them, but it doesn't hurt to keep it in there in case one of these times um, they are super fussy and they don't want their bottle or anything. Maybe they will decide they want a binky. Um, and also, them starting to teeth within the next few months, I think binkies will uh, really help around that time. So that's about it for um, what I keep in my diaper bag. I also have like additional pockets here. Um, that I actually, I do have a Vaseline in here. This is not for the babies, this is for my lips because I love to keep my lips moisturized. Um, so I do keep that in there. So another thing I actually do keep in my diaper bag is hand sanitizer. Um, it's super, super essential whenever we are going into public or honestly anywhere. There are so many germs and with our babies being so tiny, I wanna make sure that um, they do not get sick in any way. So I normally keep that in here but it's actually in my car at the moment. Um, but I do take that anywhere we go just in case um, I need to hand sanitize and I cannot wash my hands. Um, there is also another pocket in here. So there's two pockets. Um, I keep the hand sanitizer and Vaseline in this one. And then in this one, I typically will keep my ID and you know any money or anything like that in there. That way I do not have to carry my huge wallet um, separate or inside this bag either because with carrying all that stuff in there, it does get kind of crammed. Um, it's like the perfect amount of size for all of the baby's things, so my wallet would take up way too much room. Um, but this honestly has been the best thing I've done um, 
as far as convenience for being a mother of twins because the other bag over the shoulder was just not cutting it. It was way too hard to get around and carry things. Um, so this I am sticking to, especially in the summer. I think it's like super cute. It goes with any outfit. I plan to get another one. Um, I want to get either like a tan or black. That way it does go with like more than the burgundy, but it still works. And yeah, that's about all I keep in my diaper bag. With being a new mom, especially to twins, um, there's a lot I don't know. So if you guys have anything, moms or dads that carry a diaper bag that you keep in your diaper bag that I did not, please feel free to leave those in the comments below so I can go ahead and add that to my bag. Um, I'm knocking everything over, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope for any new moms as well um, that are curious as to what you keep in your diaper bag. I hope this video helped. And if there's any other videos you would like to see or anything mom related, leave those in the comments below as well. I am more than happy to do any video. Um, like I said, I am a new mom, so it's all a learning process. And um, I would love to share my experiences as a twin mom or mom in general with anyone out there that's expecting or is still a mom that just, you know, likes to interact with other moms as well. Um, leave all those in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button um, so I know to make more videos like this. And with all that being done and all that being said, A-Team out!